What's going on? We back. Good fellow sports TV. We're in the building. Appreciate everybody for checking in one time for the one time. Blessings to you and yours out there. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon button, and more kind of raw and uncensored talk, more on the uncensored side. Check my Patreon out, Fool for Thoughts here. Um, only $5. So check that out as well. And we're talking about, uh, you know, Ted Crew, Mr. I Let Man in Hollywood fondle me, <laughs> fondle my private area. He calls out Kevin Hart. He didn't come out and support Kevin Hart. He said that, you know, men should hold other men accountable. He, uh, you know, considers Kevin Hart a good friend. And he says, the truth is, Kevin, you're not being attacked. The truth is, you, <clears throat> you have to just acknowledge uh, what went on and acknowledge the pain of other people. That's all anybody's asking for. That's it. Okay. Tig expressed his disappointment on Thursday over, over how his friend, Kevin Hart has handled the controversy over anti-gay comments and tweets that cost him his gig on the Oscar. He feels like he's being attacked, Cruz said, during an interview on BuzzFeed News Twitter morning show AM to DM. But the truth is, he's not. The truth is that, Kevin, you're not being attacked, uh, Cruz continue. Um, the truth is, you just have to acknowledge what went on, acknowledge the pain of other people. That's all anybody asked for. That's it. Um... Then, uh, you know, then he goes on and compare himself to Hart, saying he sometimes becomes defensive when his wife accuses him of something wrong. Then all of a sudden you can get hardened, he said. But the hard part is when you put put down the defense and say you say, wait a minute, I'm not listening. You know, um, in the past, it says Cruz has disarrived Hart as a brother and said he expects him to be able to come back from this controversy. We do have to admit our guilt and say, hey, I messed up. Let's fix things, Crew said of Hart last month after he quit the Oscars. I think that's what he, uh, that's he will do. That I think that he will do that, and um, he's always done that. So, um, pretty much, um, Buck dancing, Buck dancing, raccooning and buffooning. You know what I'm saying? When Nick Cannon showed up as a real nigga, say, what, what about them other people, the white female um, people that made racial slurs and. And, and gay slurs and stuff in the past and they tweets they ain't pull up they pass they pull up kevin hart pass and here comes the industry uh you know number one industry uh buffoon raccoon terry crew and i'm ashamed to say he from the state of michigan the way he's talking out here this is the same dude that let men in hollywood um find his private areas in front of his wife um <laughs> so you already know he he one of them uh them uh falling uniform like-minded dudes in the industry, man. Um, at the end of the day, man, um, thought he was funny at one point, but really he's a beta male. And what is Kevin Hart apologizing for? Honestly, what is he apologizing for? He didn't go out here and say F these, you know, gay people. And, you know, he didn't say anything malicious. It was a joke, you know, in his tweets. Joke. You know, other people's pain. I mean, people talk, I mean, Terry Crew was talking about the LGBT pain and whatever they going through. What about black people pain? You know what I'm saying? I mean, was uh, the, the LGBT drug from a country, you know, from one from one continent to another continent? Watch they watch a lot of they our ancestors watched a lot of our people die on the boat coming over here. Some of us got dropped off in Puerto Rico and other places. Some people died and jumped off boat, got diseases, was sick, brought over here, built the whole country off of free labor, fought and helped fight a civil war, um, and, and help. You know, grow stuff. We don't have any origin of who we are. A lot of people don't lost who we are, don't know about it. That's one of the biggest secrets, one of the biggest hidden secrets they don't want you to know. A lot of brothers reading and learning about the higher power, learning about the curse and all of that. But, you know, talk about what we've been through. You know what I'm saying? I mean, what the LGBT community been through, nobody give a fuck. Be real talk, nobody care. That ain't nothing but a, 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 but a chase for, for clout. They clout chasing. They clout chasing. As much support that they got, and they still not happy, they got more laws from a black president than the black people did. And Obama ain't do shit for us, but give people a false hope you can be what you want to be. And guess what? You can't be what you want to be in this in this in this country. Not without paying the tax. Not without being like Terry Crew and letting somebody fondle your balls. Okay, a white man sexually harass you and, and emasculate you in front of your wife. So at that point, you know, you don't have a voice in the black community. Once you let that happen, you know, you let them play with your stuff. And no telling, he probably busted open 
wide open for him as well, too. So at the end of the day, you, you can't even call Kevin Hart out. Oh, that's my friend. And at the end of the day, if you want to hold him accountable, that's your friend. Guess what? You call me on the phone. We, we, we chop it up. We sit down to dinner and we talk about it. You don't do that through the media. That just seemed like one of the Hollywood people say, hey, Terry, we got a script for you, but we need you to, to jump on the Kevin Hart LGBT train and, and, and probably try to get Kev. You know, Kev is, uh, uh, lost a stray. Kev forgot that we funded Kev, and Kev wasn't even a funny guy. He just did what he was willing to do, and he didn't look mean. He looked like a little Furby, and, 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 and we like Kev. You know, we just want Kev to get back on track. Okay, so Terry, can you get a uh, uh, Kev back on track? And Terry Crew was like, yes sir, yes sir, I, I'll get some back on track. I'll get some back on track, sir. Let me go out here and do this interview and tell Kev that Kev's wrong. Just come on and admit you're wrong. You're talking about people pain. You're talking about people pain? What about our pain? <laughs> I mean, you see them bringing up shit from R. Kelly 20, uh, t- past 20 years ago. Okay? You see them trying to bring up Michael Jackson when he dead. You kicking why he dead. You see what they did to Sam Cooke when him and James Brown was about to buy, be the first people to have a major distribution deal in the music industry. Have their own major distribution company. It killed Sam Cooke. You know, talk about our pain and our struggle, man. I mean, do, just do the entertainment industry. Homeboy from the Cosby Show was bagging, was bagging groceries at, at, at uh, uh, Whole Foods. Talk about when we going to continue to get these shots. Why, why don't bring up Mark Warburg's past of being a racist? Throwing rocks at third, year, third, third graders. Black kids. Beating up a Viennese man, making him go blind. Two separate occasions. Beating up his next door neighbor. Why isn't it exposed when Mark Warburg get a, uh, get a part or host something? Why did his past get exposed? Why don't you see John Travolta? And, and why you don't see Bruce Willis? Why you don't see um, 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 Michael Rappaport jump on, jump on and expose Michael Rappaport? I mean, expose Mark Warburg. Why they don't out here exposing Kevin Spacey and, and some of his colleagues that work with him expose him and say, you know what? He needs to be held accountable for what he done, what he allegedly done. He need to come out here and clear his name and apologize and rehabilitate his reputation. No, you don't see white people jumping on. No white people when they get into controversy. None. None. I mean, on time you see, I mean, I'm glad that Nick Cannon supported Kevin Hart and came out, exposed the double standards of hypocrisy. But here come the company man. Okay, here come... That one guy that was your employee at work, he got upgraded to team leader for being the company snitch. Okay? This is the face of male Me Too movement. So, like I said before, he's no longer a part of the black community. But here he come, out there for Hollywood. This is a, a, a call. This is another shot at Kevin Hart from Hollywood to basically get it together and apologize and do what we say do, or your career going to be over with. You know, Kevin Hart might as well pack his bags and get ready to go to Africa. Real talk. Because if he ain't going to come out here and be serious and apologize to the LGBT community when nobody's ever apologized to black people, nobody's ever apologized for what we've been through or what we've done or whatever it may be for Mike Brown, for, for the guy up in Minnesota, to the guy up in New York that got killed for loose cigarettes. It's always pay them off. We forget about it. It come up. Everybody get up in fake arms, wear hoodies and get mad for a minute, then they distract us with some more BS, and then it's the same thing over and over again. Black people ain't going to never pull the trigger. Black people ain't going to never get together and revolt. Black people ain't going to never get together and bond together. All we do is get together, jump on R. Kelly, jump on other entertainers, hop on them, but you don't see white people doing that. You don't see white people bringing up old racist tweets of other white entertainers. You don't see other white actors or white entertainers bringing up um, what they've done wrong, you know? You really didn't even see all the shit that Eminem went through. You see a few people say things about Eminem controversy through his, through his, through his career. But not, not, white people as a whole, as from the entertainment or from the fan perspective, never jumped on Eminem. He did a lot of questionable things. But all you see is black people continually jump on, jump on. Like I said, Terry Crews in the running of the Buck Dancer of the Year Award. And I'm, I'm not disappointed in him. Because once you, once you go to Hollywood and you let them follow your balls, I mean, are you surprised that he out here? He's funded by the white man. He's funded by Hollywood. He's funded by music entertainment. This is a warning to Kevin Hart to get it together, apologize, or, you know, we're going to do like we did Cat Williams. And it's funny. I ain't even completely mad at this happening, happening to Cat. I meant to Kev because he dismissed everything Cat Williams was saying. Like Cat Williams was crazy. And Kat, he knew Cat Williams was telling the truth. And all of a sudden, Cat Williams was a hater, though, right? 
But like I said, I don't completely feel bad for Kev. I'm just exposing double standards. He better learn that this is a warning shot coming from Hollywood. One last one. He might get one more if you're lucky. But good for the sports TV. Don't forget we on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You want some more raw and sister talk? Talk my food for thought. Share on my Patreon. Links in the description. 